Welcome viewers to today's podcast. Today we're going to talk about uh, the test of time in building relationships. Now, the most important skill you need to develop as you want to build relationships and have new friends is to understand and practice the test called the test of time. Every relationship must go through the test of time to prove if it is genuine and if it is going to be beneficial and fruitful to all those that are involved in it. This is because uh, human beings have the outer man and the inner man. Now, the outer man is the one you see at a glance. But the inner man is the real man and he is the one who is going to make the relationship to work, to be beneficial and uh, to have some benefit for, for you. So it takes time to understand the inner man. The, the Bible says, uh, book of Samuel, that God... The man looks on the outward, but God looks in the inside because there are two aspects of man. We have the outside and we have the inside. Now, the inside, is, as I've said, is the real person. And this is the person who or the who holds the who has the character. The inner man is the person's character. The inner man is the person's fruit. The inner man is the person's uh, resolve. And he is built over time. He is the fruit of that person. And uh, from the time they are born, they begin to gather experiences, lessons, uh, both and uh, both good and bad. And so you cannot know that pa real person in one day, two days, a month or a two. It is always good that you be patient. It doesn't matter how much love you are feeling. Be patient and take time, understand him, allow opportunities where there will be disagreements, where there will be fights. And by the time you reach the sixth month or so, you will have seen and analyzed all aspects of the person's character and nature. So Bible says in the book of Matthew chapter 7 from verse 16 that you shall know them by their fruit. Do men gather grapes or, or thorns or figs? of these tools even so every good tree bringeth forth good fruit but a corrupt tree bringeth forth evil fruit a good tree cannot bring forth evil fruit neither can a corrupt tree bring forth good fruit so we shall know them by the fruit it uh, doesn't make sense because when you look at a tree a mango tree you always make an assumption that this is a mango tree based on the the leaves but now god is telling us don't look at the leaves don't look at the tree with your physical eyes but look at the fruit to know which kind of tree it is because it is the fruit that shows us which kind of tree we are dealing with when it comes to the human being it is the fruit of the spirit or the character how much they have developed as a human being that shows us which kind of person they are because the outside is just a box but the inside is where the fruit is now relationships like marriage they we eat the fruit we don't eat the outside husk the box so what will make the relationship not toxic is a good fruit when there is rotten fruit the relationship becomes toxic so a coming together even for dating is the two spirits or the two characters or the two inner men. That is what joins together. Um, it may be called chemistry and that is what determines the length, the duration or the success of the relationship. It's very, very important that you look, you take time to determine which kind of fruit your partner has before you commit for a long-term relationship many people have entered into 
serious problems because of listening to what someone is saying. People may say very good things, very nice things, and have very many good ambitions and desires, but it is the strength of the character that it, that determines the quality of the relationship or the offerings they can give. So let us always take time to observe and character speaks louder than words. So take time, be observant, give it time and um, let, don't listen to your hormones but have common sense and you shall have a successful relationship. God bless you. See you again tomorrow, same time, same weather.